So Kenny just landed, waiting for him. Kim still doesn't know that I'm coming, so it's gonna be an awesome surprise. Oh, Kenny! What up, my guy? Yo, we're about to catch some big ass fish. Kim Hank doesn't even know. Kim doesn't even know. Surprise, bitches! Yo, we're trying to trying to hide from Hank. We're in front of his workplace right now. We're trying to get to his car. We can't even see his car. I'm squatted down behind Kim's car. Hopefully, this dude is surprised. Let's go! Yo! I knew you were coming. Golly! Come on, man! <laughs> you knew it? I had a feeling. Ah, right. we had. <laughs> See? Ready. Good morning, my friends. What's up, guys? We're on our way to Sebastian Inlet. It's about two and a half hours. Oh, 6 a.m.? Oh, nice. We're actually on time. So we're going to Sebastian Inlet. It's about a two and a half hour drive from us. So, wish us luck. You yeah, know the gang is all here. Yeah. Kim Hang, Kenny. It's pretty. Oh yeah. So the pier is pretty uh, uh, full over there, and that side is pretty rough. So we're gonna head down there and fish along the sand and see if we can find a calmer spot. What's nice about Sebastian Inlet, right down the road, there's a tackle shop. You could purchase live shrimp, $3.50 per dozen. The guy at the shop actually recommended this for snook. So I went with the recommendation, got like four dozen. It's not bad. Uh, we were really confused on how to hook this actual live shrimp. And until after the trip, we realized we were doing it all wrong. It's a lot easier to hook it by the horn to keep it alive, hence why you want it alive instead of putting the whole hook through the body and basically having a dead shrimp. Yo, Kim got the first fish. Yo, bring that up, bring that up. Damn, that's nice. That's super nice, dude. 12 inches sheep head. Okay, I got the ruler. Baby sheep head, so that doesn't look 12, but we'll, we'll measure. Hey, we gotta go for the longest. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting bit all over here. Yeah. I think it's like 10. Yeah. 11. Just shy of my friend. Just shy of 11. Just shy of 11. It's cool. You got a little taste. Penny! Little sheep head. Nice. When you reel it, try not to reel the weight too far up. No, you're good. Give a measure. Let's see. Did Kenny catch the first keeper of the day? You 11. That's my fish right there. Yup. Oh, okay. That was 11. It's 11. Pliers right there. Pliers right here. If you want the pliers. Oh, okay. I'm about 10 minutes in using this Yoziri topwater lure. It's not bad. I like the action on it. it swims nice. Yeah. Hopefully something hits. been about what's it, an hour hour and a half fishing's been slow ever since they caught the sheep heads no action i switched to a live setup shrimps are doing really well oxygen's coming down getting bit up by these uh fleas or sand fleas or ticks whatever you want to call them we're basically opposite of the spot we're at at the beach checking this side out we didn't have any luck we were there for like three hours so 
I'm testing our luck over here. Yo, this is actually pretty funny. Kenny wasn't even trying to catch a fish. He was just trying to retrieve his line back. And all of a sudden, I snook this went for his shrimp. And boom. Baby Snook, oh. baby Snook, Dude. nice, Kenny, oh, no. oh, oh my Ooh. god, <laughs> baby Snook, uh, yeah, baby Snook, Damn, yo, you good, bit, yo, yeah. so you yeah. something to... oh, your line snapped, really? your line snapped, dude, I gotta take the blame for that one, the reason why his line snapped, when we went to go get their fishing poles at Walmart, uh, I recommended this line for them. I for totally forgot that there's like serrated ass rocks on the bottom. So it would have been better to go with a fluoro or a mono. Uh, just a rookie mistake on my part. Yeah, fishing at Sebastian Inlet is definitely some rough fishing. Um, got tired of getting snagged on the rock, so made my way to the beach to test out the Uzuri topwater lure. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any luck there, but it was fun casting. <laughs> I've been casting for about 30 minutes now. I haven't got any luck. But we gotta keep trying. We gotta keep trying. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Alright guys. It's three o'clock right now. We are on the left side of the Bastion Inlet. Still nothing going on. One with a three ounce egg sinker. Going pretty far out there. Hopefully there's no current like the other side. Come on, Snook. Nice. Ooh, nice, Kenny. Good shit, Kenny. Let it take, let it take. Let it take. Let it tire it out. Good shit, Kenny. Nice. Nice. Okay, very nice. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> the energy. The energy, baby. Oh. Oh. Yo. No, I know, I know. It just it's dragged. It just dragged your line. I don't know what it is, dude. No, no, no. You did you did what you're supposed to do. Wow. Yo. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta give you that, man. Oh, oh my god. That... I, like, I learned my lesson here. Oh, I got a pepper fish. Oh, Ooh. Caught the pepper fish. Barely like caught him. Uh, oh, damn it. This thing is blowing up. Blowing up on the side. Uh, let's see. Nice. Got one. Flounder. Woo. Yup. Nah, it looks kind of small. Let's see. Ah, uh, shrimp. There we go. 
flounder 12. Yo, you gotta keep her, son. Ah, keep her, baby. Let's go. Keep yep. Her. Let's go. Let me get that cooler. Hold on, let me do it one more time. Just because. Let me do it one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Let me give, give you some light on this. Yeah. So there's no discrepancies. Uh -huh. So you guys know, know what the deal is. Right here. Let's go 12. Please be 12. One. 12 inches, yo. One oh, foot. No. One foot. Gotta keep her. Yeah, Ooh. baby. One yeah, foot. Baby. What you got, Kenny? Let's see. Let's check it out, man. Good job, dude. Oh, that's a croaker. That's a croaker. This is a, a bait fish. Yeah, want to use it? Yeah. Good job, man. Hey. Two fish, two species. Yeah, two species. There you go. Ah. Yeah, son. That's what I'm talking about. All right, live croaker. Live croaker right here. Damn. Damn. Okay. I gotta toss this boy out there. <laughs> it's so hard, man. That's yo. That, when that snook comes up, hold on, hold on. I need. I want to do this for practice. Oh, uh -huh. you thought I was catching a pelican? Oh no. Oh yeah, no, not at all. We're going for a big snook. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Go. Yeah. Oh. All right. Missed the bite. It's on my phone. My bad. My bad. That was beautiful. These sunsets are so beautiful. Man, it's been a great day fishing. We got here at about 9 a.m. It's like 6 right now, 6.30, sun is setting. Hopefully we can catch one more fish before we head back to Lauderdale. We are home. Man, that was rough, huh? Rough day. Uh, so we're home. We're gonna kill this flounder and freeze it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Too bad we didn't catch that much fish, but I want to give you guys some tips because when you're out there in the, the beach, be very careful of these sand ticks or whatever you want to call them. I got eight up. My ankles are killed. My arms, my hands. Look at Kenny. Oh my lord. Sheesh. I, uh, my Look at that lure. I'm gonna grab that. Get it lures, baby. That's sweet. It's a sweet it's one. Nice. Let's see what's on this line right here. What is this? A swim bait. Man, I'm finding nothing but treasures over here, man. Woo. Caught a swim bait. I caught a lure. Found another lure. Go ahead and take all this line and throw it away. Don't want any turtles or other fish to get tangled in this joint. <laughs> 